532 is the time right now. The shooting death of Sam DeBose and the trial of Ray Tensing will actually have local groups, including Black Lives Matter, organizing and calling for the former UC police officer's conviction. Nine your side's Kristen Swilly joins us live now from CityLink Center with what is planned for today. Kristen? Well, tonight, the Amos Project is bringing together clergy leaders and church members to discuss the Ray Tensing trial and Black Lives Matter. They are calling it their prayer, presence, and prophetic witness training and saying they stand with the family of Samuel DeBose. Now, Black Lives Matter Cincinnati is also having a meeting tonight, specifically on campus, and decidedly taking a different approach. The group says while the university's police department has made strides, there is still a lot of community relations work that needs to be done. They are laser focused on the tensing trial, hoping for conviction. Leaders are asking students to join the fight, adding they think UC has tried to sweep student outrage under the rug. But yesterday, the university's police department told Nye on Your Side it has a new reform plan that's committed to six principles, including transparency and fairness. Behind each one of those principles is an entire body of research with tactics and strategies that we know work. And now we have a board of trustees that's mandating that we do this work in our police department right here for our community. Well, the Amos Project meeting is happening right here at 630. The Black Lives Matter Cincinnati meeting with students is happening on the sixth floor of Stager Hall at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.